Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we have Jake Sachs with us, our real marketing manager and all around shredder. And we have been surfing the biggest of the IPAs. It's a lot of surfboards. We right? have been surfing the big brother, the big boy, and we're going to talk with you now about the IPA big brother sting. There's been a lot of big boy sting out there for a while, so a lot of times people get confused with the names. So the big brother has a round nose, uh, much like what a longboard mm -hmm. would have, uh, but it's a sting, right? It's an IPA sting. And uh, so it's coming back into the sting here, swallowtail. and then to a swallowtail, and then flipping it over. It's got a four plus one fin setup. And uh, this board is in the surf, is built in SurfTech EPS Epoxy Fusion HD technology. So first, Jake, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about this design. And for those of you that don't know, Jake has been in a bunch of reviews uh, with us and comes with, uh, you know, not only his surfing background and also all things related to real, but also has made uh, a bunch of his own boards and had his own surfboard label for a while. So he's got a wealth of knowledge as far as, uh, you know, either shaping theory and also uh, build technology. So let's talk about, uh, Jake, let's talk about this shape first. I mean, the thing that jumps out like right away is how big it is. Yeah. So what, what, what's the specs on this board? It's a lot of surfboards. It is. 9.0 by 23 and a half by three and seven eighths, 91.31 liters. So. 91.31 liters. So like when we first got this thing, I thought it was like the same size as my Rawson 910 gun. Right. And I actually just went down to Puerto Rico and looked at that and that's actually 85. It eclipses that. Yeah, so it's here, actually yeah. more than like a 910 big wave gun, yeah. you know, in this, you know, longboard-esque sting definitely sting uh, shape. Yeah. In surfing it, the very first thing that I noticed, like the very first session, like, you know, one is like you're, you're carrying this board that's like way bigger than you've ever surfed before, yeah. but it doesn't weigh anything. It's light, you know, it's not too light. It's not like the epoxy stuff that they build it way too light, but it's like also not like a brick, like yeah. where you can't carry it. Yeah. So it's easy to get to and from the water. And when you're paddling it, it like literally electro glides across the water. There's like no resistance. Yeah, it just, flows on the thing across yeah. the water yeah. but in insert in paddling it in sitting on it and in surfing it like the one thing that um that always jumps out to me like when you have like these super sized boards is that they can feel like bucky yeah. they can feel like awkward like when you have too much volume yeah um and when i first looked at this thing i'm like oh yeah this thing will be great for somebody who weighs like 280 yeah um which there are a lot of people out there that surf that are big, you know, like 250 is actually pretty normal now. Yeah. Um, but I thought like you were gonna have to be like gigantic in order to surf this thing well. And very first session that like jumped out, like you didn't have to be, you didn't have to be big. I was shocked actually with how maneuverable it was for its size. And, uh, and I think that has to do a lot with the volume placement, the rails pinch. It's not like a big fat rail like you get on a lot of these high volume uh, longboard style boards and right. then the pulled in tail and this that's that sting that wing uh really helped as well it, it gave you a nice turning point uh really high i mean that's probably you know what like 30 30 inches up or something from the yeah. tail so like you you have a, a good turning point and then that that uh, narrower swallow it had bite to it and you could you could throw it around now i'm you know, I'm closer to like IPA big boy status like right, at right. 200 pounds. Right. How much do you weigh, Jake? 160. 160. Yeah. And so you're nowhere near no. big boy status, right? <laughs> no. um, and then as far as, you know, like, you know, talking about like that, I just felt like it was neutral. Yeah. Like I didn't feel like it was awkward or bucky or like kind of fighting you, yeah. um, which was amazing. You know, like I was mm -hmm. like, wow, like it's, it's cool that they can put this much volume into this board and and have people that are gonna like it other than just the, I mean, obviously the big guys yeah. uh, are gonna, are gonna, gonna love, love it. it. Yeah. You know, they're gonna like get drawn to it like with a track, like some sort of like close encounters of the third kind tractor yeah. pull. Yeah. They're gonna be building like volcanoes in their living room and have like half face sunburns and not know why. And, <laughs> right. But then this thing is gonna show up on their internet and they'll be like, oh, that's why, that's why half of my face is sunburned. This is nuts. But, the fact that it can go with 
I don't know where that came from. <laughs> the fact amazing. that they can have like <laughs> mid-sized people like it who actually need it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. the not either need it or want it. Want you know, it, yeah. one of one of the two. You know, yeah. because if you're not getting a lot of waves, like if you're not surfing and catching like you know a, a fun number of waves, like you're not really having the best time that you can have. Exactly. Yeah, out there. we were able to put this in micro, like micro small waves. Micro and minis. It worked really well. And then uh, we put it in some size too, and uh, it was a handful, but it, it worked. You right, know? right. Um, that being the range, it's a good board for just someone who, you know, like when you're tired or if you're, you know, not getting the waves you want or if it's slow and it's like the beginning of a swell or the end of a swell, long period. And you can just, you can surf inside, you can surf the big ones on the outside and just rack up your wave counts. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you look at like, the number of people that are surfing under volume i mean obviously yeah. it's very apparent when you look at like recreational shortboarders yeah but when you look at like recreational recreational surfers mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that you know that have fun shapes that are too small that have long boards that don't really paddle that well and mm -hmm. and you know the majority of their session ends up either being sitting or missing waves yeah. not necessarily catching as many waves as they can, you know, in a package that's that's still going to maneuver, right? Like you yeah. can go out there and like you know prone paddle a stand up paddleboard into a wave and catch a wave and go straight. Yeah. But this thing still still turns, you know, and still maneuvers. Yeah, and there are a lot of people that are on you know nose riders when it gets a little bit more size and they just like the board just doesn't fit the wave as well. I feel like yeah. this having the longboard shape pulled in tail you can ride it in some smaller juicier waves yeah and and have a, have a blast on it you're not surfing like a, a, a plank. traditional longboard or a plank yeah, yeah exactly yeah no that's actually a really good point i mean like what jake's talking about is you know you can go to these bigger like classic log style boards but they tend to be like board flat yep. in rocker 50 50 rails that aren't going to exceed the speed of the wave yep. big single fin on the board um and yeah, you can catch the wave, but a lot of times people will be nose diving those or not being able to really generate speed yeah. like where this, uh, you know, where this board can. You know, a bunch of things that I that I really enjoyed about this board, like one was that neutral feel mm -hmm. for how I was still like blown away as many times as I've ridden it. Uh, you know, the next thing would be like how early you can get into the wave. Yep. And, you know, these just sort of like up on your hands, but not on your feet, like kind of fades into deep, the yeah. right to yeah. then stand up and then hook, yeah. hook left. You know, it's just so much, so much fun. Um, you know, and then, I don't know, just the, just the ability to go out there and get a lot of waves mm -hmm. and a, in a really short amount of time was just yeah. you know really really fun and you could close out the in section a little bit with it too you know you didn't have to just like if it got steep and you got a little bit of a, a section on mm -hmm. it you didn't have to just kick out and paddle back you could kind of tap it and yep. and ride through the white water it didn't buck you too bad in the white water either which was, okay which was cool um you could even if you had a bit of white water under the ball under the board it wouldn't shake you off yeah yeah pretty stable in there so and so you know the other thing we talked about at the, at the beginning of the video was the uh was the technology right so yeah. this is eps epoxy it's the fusion hd from surf tech uh it has a stringer in it eps core epoxy resin uh but what this does is it it helps the board be lighter yeah you know that if you made a pu poly 91 liter board right. uh it it's there's only so light you can make it before it would fall apart yeah um this board is still you know it's still it's nice and light it's not too light like it's not like the the where you go too light and then it's like it just doesn't surf yeah. right but it, it is lighter than a pu poly which at this size i think is important because it just makes the board more fun in the water and then easier to manage yeah. off the water. Um, I mean, this board's been surfed a, a ton um, in the time that we've been riding it. And the deck, the deck is still holding together really well. I mean, there's some foot impressions. Like if we took the wax off it, you, you would see some heel yeah. dents, but um, it's not to the point of like where you would see it like on a poly board, yeah. you know, on like a standard glass yeah. poly board. And no like cracks along the string or anything like that. It's just like, yeah, it, that epoxy was really, um, strong but also will move with your feet a little bit so yeah and the other thing that is kind of crazy to point out is that this board is i think the smallest of yeah. the big brothers right, right? so this is a 9-0 they also make this in a 9-6 and a 10-0 and a which is which is just nuts you know so if you think about 
I don't know. I mean, it's some places that just have like really small dribbly waves, mm -hmm. like, you know, or if it's like a, if it's a legit, like big, you know, big surfer yeah, in small to medium surf, like it could be, you know, the nine, six and the 10 could be uh, super fun as well. Let's talk about this. Uh, you touched lightly on the, on the sting. Let's talk about what that does yeah, in, in like kind of helping this board out. Right. So the sting you're talking, you know, maybe 30 inches up on the board, you know, we've got that right. Probably the easiest way to look at it's right here. And uh, that does a few different things. One is it keeps the volume underneath your chest and forward for, mm -hmm. for gliding into waves uh, and also like kind of maintaining speed, like when you're kind of getting across those flat sections and then it reduces it in the back. So where you need um, less area for control and maneuverability, it does that. It also gives you a big pivot point right here, kind of like what a, like a wing would on a shortboard or a bump wing would yep. on a shortboard. Uh, and lastly, like, on this board, you could really see it because obviously we're dealing with bigger thicknesses, but how much this thing uh, shaves down, you know, like from here to here, how much thinner it gets as it goes into that staying wing. Yeah, definitely. Yep. And that helps you can step back on the tail and swing it. Uh, and actually like between these two points, you're basically turning off of the tail and then that breaks the water. Okay. Um, and, and you're able to turn off that pivot point too. So. And also I think by thinning it out, yeah. you're able to actually get that part of the rail in the water deeper. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you're back here and you're turning off of the tail, you're really able to put that rail down in yes. the water and not have the volume fight you. Yep. Uh, let's talk about fins a little bit. IPA recommends on this board to go either with the Horseman quads. Okay. Uh, and so these are made by NVS, they're G10 construction thin foil, like with the G10, you can go thinner, thinner is faster, there's less resistance. These are the large size, obviously, because I've, I've got them for myself, so I went large. Yep. Thinner is gonna be faster, but also the G10 is, is really durable. You know, a lot of times in, in longboard surfing, you might end up like riding onto the beach, like even like yesterday, like, you know, with those outside ones, like all the way through both zones, all the way right up onto the beach. Right. And we've got some coarse sand right now, like after all these storms, and you can see that the fins aren't getting all blown out. Yep. Uh, but also they're you know they're thinner they're faster and they're and they're stronger like for the longevity of the uh of the use of the fin so those are really nice um you know what i found on this board i wrote it single fin uh with the uh with this fin which is a, an ipa longboard fin from nvs and you can just go straight single which is going to be better on uh, this is also in g10 construction uh the single fin is going to be better uh for the pure nose riding aspect of this board and just sort of like more like kind of yeah. traditional longboard style. Um, we've actually got a great local surfer uh, contractor down here, Hunter, who makes a lot of his own boards. And we swapped boards uh, during one of our sessions south of the lighthouse. And uh, man, he was nose riding the heck out of this oh, thing. Wow. Yeah, okay, it was yeah, crazy, so man. Can... He was like on the tip, just hanging the whole time. That's sick with the different fins. It really does react. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. You and I mostly, I mean, I spent a lot of time single fin prior to shooting the review and then went to the quads uh, when we were shooting the review. And, and I like the quads for the ability to generate a little bit more speed, yeah. like a little bit more shortboard style. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for pure nose ride performance, like every once in a while you, you feel them start to drift, yep. drift yep. out a bit. So uh, that's like where I think the single fin comes into play. And you could also do a two plus one. Uh, but right now the way, you know, when IPA sent us the board and the fins are like, hey, go quad or go single yeah. on this one. Yeah, tons of options for it, which is also really helpful to make it feel differently for different conditions. So, and like uh, sometimes we'll say that, but this one actually, it works in, in all those, with all the different fin yeah, setups. Yeah, exactly, um, yeah. Yeah, so it's a good, like a good combo package between, you know, IPA and SurfTech and NVS. Yeah. So Jake, sold a lot of boards you've made a lot of boards yep. like you've seen you know fantasies come true you've made dreams come true <laughs> who's this board for uh, I, I think it's for obviously for um, the big guy or gal out there who uh, wants this extra volume and wants to surf a longboard but not necessarily a traditional longboard would work really well for for that person and then also uh, for someone who wants to be able to surf a, a wide variety of waves, who's maybe a little smaller, mm -hmm. but just wants something different than your traditional log uh, to be able to get a little lively when it gets bigger uh, or and throw the single fin in there and get a little cruisy and nose ride when it's smaller. And, and just really, it's a really fun board. Yeah, I'd definitely say it, it goes good for uh, a wide variety of people. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, 
the IPA logo is timeless. Yeah. Literally, right. like every time I paddled this thing out, they're like, oh it's man, is, like, that's an IPA? Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, like what is that? You know, and like. With the sting, it'll, it turns heads for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, like, 100%. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's a great pairing too with uh, like what IPA is doing with SurfTech to like put something out like this, like in that, in the Fusion HD, like to keep it lighter. Yeah. So, to, you know, so I, that makes it, I think, more accessible and actually more performance yeah. than, uh, than a standard PU Poly. So that's the uh, that's the wrap. It's the IPA Big Brother Sting. This one's the 9.0. Uh, we also have 9.6, 10.0s, all the sizes in stock. If anybody out there has any questions about the IPA Big Brother Sting, or would like to place an order for one, you can always call us at the shop 252-987-6000, or look us up online realwatersports.com/surfing. Thanks for tuning in.